You know, Oklahoma, every year we play Oklahoma, you know, it's like a seven point game. And so, you know, Oklahoma's uh, offense is, is uh, very productive as well, you know. Um, but I think we played pretty well. You know, I, there's obviously some things that need to be corrected as far as, you know, scheme and uh, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, as the weeks progress, as we go by week by week and uh, practice by practice, you know, we can only get better. So. What do we expect to see from uh, Cortez Kirk Jones on the other side? Oh, Cortez, uh, he's uh, – during practice, you know, he's a very physical guy. I'm really excited to see what he can do. And, uh, you know, he's he hasn't gotten very many snaps. But, uh, you know, I'm really excited to see how productive he, he can be. So. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. You know, we started off the uh, the year with two very tough teams, very, two very talented teams. You know, as you know, you they're they're always a competition. You know, and uh, um, obviously, you know, there's some things. Like I said, you know, there's some things schematically that we changed, and um, as you know, week by week, you know, hopefully those things that we change will help us be more productive throughout the run, pass, and game. And so, uh, yeah. Can you tell me what the how demanding? Chris Kleinman and Joe Flanerman as are the defensive ends in this new 3-3-5 system. Is it, is it more than what you had to do in the past? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, with that, with uh, our new defense, you know, we got to be be able to not only react to the to the passing game as well, but we got to be able to play run. And, and um, but obviously with that three-man front, you know, uh, it recalls for bigger guys, especially when during the run game. You know, like Jalen Pickle and, uh, you know, Tim Horn, Eli Huggins, some big guys up front. But, you know, when we know it's going to be a passing situation, we're going to get some speedy guys out there like Nate Matlack or Felix Andrew DK. So, yeah. How big a rival is Iowa State to come? I wouldn't really say it's a, it's a rival, honestly. I mean, I'll just say that um, every year it's, it's uh, a pretty tough game, obviously. You know, it's always been a tough game with Iowa State. I mean, um, but – I mean, I wouldn't really call it a rivalry, rivalry game, but, uh, but yeah. So does, does last season stick in the crawl at all? You guys get kicked in the teeth pretty good. Yeah, we did, we did. Uh, but um, you know, that was last year, and you know, I, the way I see, you know, pass is the past. Don't dwell on what happened last year. I mean, we're a completely different team than we were last year, and uh, we got a completely different scheme than we did last year as well. So I mean, the only thing we can do is just um, play well against them. That's the only thing we can do, so.